and to this video we're going to look at how Young Young and I were trying to create a social media website. That seems like, oh my god, they're going to create Facebook, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to say it's not going to be at Facebook. It's probably going to be something smaller and limited in scope, but I hope that maybe you can try it out. It's something kind of cool technology-wise that I can put on my resume and say, hey, I did this. Or maybe a company that looks at what I've done, like, oh, maybe we can leverage that or use that skill set in, in our company. So Young Young's very interested in it, and she's been doing this boot camp. She's been doing SQL and Java, so she's been interested in hearing what I've been doing in this social media website. How do you do it? What is code? How do you construct something from like the ground up? So if you don't understand, um, comment below. Maybe I can help clarify. I'll try to keep this as high level as possible. So here it is. Here's the little social media website that I've been working on uh, while Young Young's been learning Java and SQL and some of the technologies she's learned I've been using as well. So this is the front end. You can see that there's uh, usernames, a verification badge. Um, some people have already commented on here. Um, Bay Area Tech Solutions is one of them. He, that's a company. Uh, my friend owns that one. That's kind of cool seeing some some shout outs to our YouTube channel there. It's kind of cool. Um, it's uh, The website is tudao.com. You can go there, you can register. It's uh, pretty secure. Um, it uses Amazon's AWS, Amazon Web Service, that uh, other developers can use and companies can use to host their websites. So let's let's go over there. So here is some of the websites. I own this one, my personal blog here, and uh, my company here. We have a uh, DAO. that's that's the, the, the social network. So this is a registered domain and I can have the files hosted there and the database hosted there. I'll go in more depth maybe in a future episode, but the next page here is uh, where I host the files. Files here are static pages that never really change. So this isn't anything to do with user data or databases. This is just, hey, there's a, uh, a home page. We want to be able to show that to the, the user, you, you guys, the user. Uh, so this is where I upload these uh, files to, and I've got, got it all kind of automated. So if I make a change, it uh, directly changes this. So let's move out of the internet browser onto the code editor I use. So this is the code editor I use. It's called VS Code. Here I'm, I'm looking at my about page right here, about, and we're gonna go back here. This is the social media website with all the posts. And I'm gonna go over here and click about. Tudel is where people go. Two doubt is where people go. That's that's what the code says right there. How interesting. Maybe maybe I want. I don't like this dash here. Maybe that's uh, not good. So I'm gonna save that. So this is saved on my my computer, and we need to upload that file. Say like a home page. We need to upload that to the cloud. So Amazon Web Service will take that file and route it through the cloud to to you guys. So I need to save that. And here, this one here says, hey, there's been one change to your code. I'm going to click that. And here it says changes. And I can see the change. So I'm going to change this to a period. OK. Change to period. So I'm going to say, like, what I changed there. I'm going to commit that. And then I'm going to sync changes. So sync means it takes your local code and syncs it to the cloud. So local and cloud becomes the same. So I'm going to say sync and a couple of cool things happen here. It's going to take that, push it to the cloud and it's going to update this right here. So it's going to come here and I have this build pipeline. So the cloud takes that code, it, it listens to code changes and sees that change. So coming to this page, we can see that the source, the, the source code is in progress. So that means it, oh, I see something that has changed and take that source code and move it along this build pipeline. And that pipeline is how, 
how it builds websites for the cloud. So we haven't seen it here yet. Refresh it. So we're going to come back here. It's building. And this build process is defined in code too. So I can actually define my code and how it pipes it out into the, the cloud or AWS. So that build step mimics what is in here build spec.yml. So that's another file in my project, and that file dictates how it's going to build the project. So you can see it uh, installs, it has some build commands, and then it has some post build stuff. I won't go through the whole file. Just know it's building it, it's rendering it, all these files, and putting the code into a run file. So while this builds, I normally go and get a cup of coffee and then come back a few minutes later and it should be done here pretty soon. So let's refresh the page a couple times and uh, see it to move from build to deploy. Oh, here it is. So now it's deploying. So it packaged it up into a kind of a condensed file with all those code files into one. And then when it's deployed, we can go out and look at the changes and it takes those files puts it right here and it tells the, the cloud that it's done and you can change those files with the new files. So let's go and look over here. Refresh the page. We got that period now. So what is Tudel? Tudel here is just a create a post. We're continuously updating it. Uh, you can log out. You can sign in. You can create an account. You can click on people's names. You can see their uh, their username, their posts. You can go over here, you can share the post and just see just the post. You can report it if it's not good. So that, that's it so far. I'm hoping that we can upgrade it, add features. And in, in one of the future videos, I kind of want to show how to set up this database. How do you put the, the logic in? What tools am I using? How do you create a post? If you like anything with this, comment below. If you have any questions of how I, how I did something, um, this is using Amazon's Amplify tools. That one is uh, way down here. And you can see that uh, they've got a user management system so I don't have to worry about passwords. They have content, a UI library, authentication, storage, and there's additional functions. Let's scroll down here. They've got predictions, analytics, notifications, and I think every year they're adding a bunch of new features to this. And that's about it. Continue watching our videos. Maybe we'll update something on this that we do something bigger. I'm hoping that we can add more uh, share functionalities. Maybe we'll show more updates to other technology stuff that we're doing. I know Young Young probably has the next one with their bootcamp, but we'll, we'll let you know. See you later, bye. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and...